Hey what's up guys, Jandi here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna tell you guys how I was able to generate over $430,000 within one month using branded dropshipping stores. If you're struggling to dropship at the moment, scaling your product or your store from $1,000 to $10,000 per day, then I'm gonna be telling you guys effective ways that you can apply to your current strategy to be able to scale past that level now if you're still following and thinking about the old traditional drop shipping way of doing things such as aliexpress and five dollar facebook ads then you're gonna have to look past that by the end of this video you are going to learn how you can scale your own branded drop shipping niche store i'm gonna be talking about a few points i'm gonna be talking about a few points from suppliers up to facebook ads and also I'm gonna be showing you guys my total profit at the end of this video. Here you can see in the screen that we made about $433,000 from March 19 up to April 19. So if you learned something new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell or subscribe if you haven't done so. Let's go. Alright guys, just before I made this video, I asked in the YouTube community if you guys have any questions before I talk about scaling a store up to $432,000 in one month. And a lot, I got a lot of feedbacks from you guys, so I'm just gonna answer a few questions in here. For example, Zyker Zakaria asks, when you get your first sales, do you need to fulfill them with your money or the customer money? Uh, I think that the customer money will get hold so basically what you're trying to say is when you get your sales you need to invest at first so you need to rotate your cash flow so that you can fulfill orders and pay for your ads and then as you get profit obviously either reinvest that or put it into your savings so let's have a look at some more questions here so Ivan asked hi Jandi how did you find that product also how did you validate the product idea um, opinion why it why I think it should work that's a very good question Ivan so I found this a product back in 2018 and I just looked at old products that were working before but was not scaled meaning no one has scaled that with Facebook ads however people like the product it's really high quality and there's a high perceived value on that well I hope you guys like that short Q&A I can do more Feel free to comment down below if you guys want me to continue to do that. I'm going to be asking you guys questions before I upload a video such as this one. And I'm going to be answering a few of those questions in there. The first thing that I want to talk about that will help you scale your product up to $10,000 per day is having a proper supplier and utilizing the cashback system and credit card system. With the supplier, you have to make sure you have a backup and your main supplier. With your main supplier, personally mine is from AliExpress though, but they ship within USA. And I told them I am making this amount of orders per month. Are you able to fulfill this for me? And I got their WeChat and I just talked to them through WeChat. Now, what they do for me is actually source the product and bring it to the USA warehouse so I can have that two to seven business days shipping plus it's a good customer service and easier to fulfill orders how I fulfill orders are not manually anymore or using an app but I just use a CSV file for you guys that don't know basically you just contact your your supplier at the end of the day and give them a CSV file of your orders your customer details and then just send them the invoice personally i pay them through aliexpress link which they can make a private link for you for your particular products so you can utilize the admitted cashback system it's between about one percent to five percent cashback so that will actually help you boost your profit in the long run especially if you are doing big numbers as you can see in the screen we have made about almost eight thousand dollars within one month okay just by utilizing this system that's extra eight thousand dollars profit okay you guys have to think about that especially when you are doing big numbers you're gonna have a lot of fees 
and to eliminate that obviously you want some sort of cash back now the second option that i have for my particular store is having a warehouse fulfillment center and i've used a couple of warehouse fulfillment centers ship bob dollar fulfillment and currently i'm using red stag fulfillment and they're pretty good you know i just send in a bulk orders for them and they will just ship and pack to my customers they're a bit expensive however if you have to think about the longevity of your business if you're providing a lot of value even by doing fast shipping um, you can compete with amazon plus you you'll have happy customers hence you have that chance that they will buy from you again now since we're talking about fulfilling orders you have to use your credit card personally i use an air points or air flyer points um, in some countries where the more I spend the more air points I get and I've almost gathered about more than ten thousand dollars worth of air points so I can literally travel the world for free and that's because I use my credit card to pay for my cogs okay my cost of goods and also my Facebook ads all right the second thing i want to talk about today to be able to create a branded niche store and scale this much is to have a proper team this is a three-man team in this one particular store i have a separate team for my other stores but this particular store where we did four hundred thirty-two thousand dollars in one month we're literally just two VAs and then you have me. So there's three of us. These VAs, they look after the order fulfillment and also the customer service of things. If you don't have a proper team, then I suggest that you guys start a building one, especially if you are seeing tractions with your particular product. If you're doing about $1,000, you should have at least one VA. Okay, just doing your emails and that removes all the emotional aspects of doing customer service, especially if you're scaling, your business growth will be affected if you keep doing these admin tasks. You can simply just jump into Upwork and hire someone from there. You can pay them $5 per hour, even just a couple of hours per day to look after your emails and comments on social media. Now the second thing here is having a, a system where your VAs can follow. For me personally, I have Zendesk, which you can apply to your Shopify store. Zendesk allows you to have live chat on your website and also just simplify your full customer service, which will add more value to your dropshipping store. That's what you want. You want to build the community, better customer service, keep providing value so that they keep coming back to you. With Zendesk, you just connect your email there and you can also connect your Facebook, Instagram. So all of that social media stuff will just go there. If any of your customers have any questions it will go there your va can just answer the questions over there all right the next point i want to talk about is branding and investing in particular towards your business the first one i want to discuss is i personally hired an email marketing agency to handle my emails for me i know this was a weak spot in my store and i quickly acted on it i i was only doing about two percent of revenue from emails whereas after i hired an email marketing agency they boosted it up to 13 percent as you can see here we made about fifty thousand dollars extra in revenue just from email alone for a month and that's 13 percent of our total revenue and in fact this is not our actual total revenue this is only the re revenue recorded by Clavio. so we were losing a lot of money especially generating revenue from emails from two percent boosted up to 13 percent well worth the investment all right the next thing we did is we hired more video producers who can create creatives for us using our product you know just showcasing our product talking about the product and about our brand as well this is the key thing here and they used the names of our brand while they were shooting the video and this helped our conversion a lot by doing this you're eliminating all the competitions that you have in this particular product because it's your own particular brand so you won't have to worry about dropshippers stealing your 
videos and the way i did that i just went on fiverr looked for people in usa that can shoot the video and talk about the video and also create a good creative for it which is a no-brainer good investment for us we saw a huge impact on our return and ad spends and we basically doubled our profit doing it that way so we're going to continue on investing on these kind of services so we can further grow our business and then finally to boost our branding even more we created a private facebook group for this particular winning product that we have meaning for all those people that bought that one product they are going to be invited into this private group and this helped us get in touch with our customers even further we were able to ask them questions why they bought it you know and other people are just making reviews out of our out of the product that they bought from us you know and they were also posting videos and photos of themselves which are ugc's and these are gold mine I'm telling you right now UGCs are gold mine they convert a lot better than a selling a product using a particular drop shipping ad if you just show a person using the the, the product that, that they bought from you you'll be surprised of how you can connect to your potential customers that way because that means you're touching them in, in a deeper personal level and hitting them emotionally as well which is one of the major factor of customers buying from you so utilize those private groups invite them to a private group and create a community and of course there's facebook ads now my facebook ad strategy is not really a facebook ad strategy it's more like a general structure that i created for this particular ad account and shopify store and I'm going to tell you guys my exact structure right now. First of all, I'm going to have a pre-testing campaign or campaigns. Now pre-testing, I will just be testing new products or new ad creatives. Um, for ad creatives, I use dynamic creative testing ground. And I've talked about this previously and I'm going to do another video on this, probably the next video after this, on how I test new creatives um, using dynamic creative campaigns. And then once you figure out which products are working well and which ads are working well, I bring them down to the testing campaign. Now with the testing campaign, I'm going to be testing a lot of interests and lookalike audiences that works against those ads and products. Once I've done that, my third campaigns will be the scaling campaigns. I basically just duplicate anything that's working in the top of the funnel testing campaign such as interest or lookalike audiences uh, double the budget and put at least five to seven ad set in a single cdo now that's basically the whole structure there uh, for the top of the funnel and then for the middle of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel i still follow my old retargeting strategies i have a main broad 180 days retargeting and then i have segmented other campaigns um, within the middle of the funnel and uh, bottom of the funnel you know these are campaigns like view contents within the last three days seven days and 180 days in a single campaign so those are more segmented but the main ones that's generating me the most profit is typically the broad 180 days if you haven't seen any of my retargeting videos yet i suggest you go ahead and do so um, i made a basic and advanced retargeting methods and probably the most detailed guide on retargeting that you guys will ever watch those are my whole structure there i'm spending if I'm scaling, I'm spending between $2,000 to $3,000 with Facebook ads alone. And then I look at the stats on a daily basis. If one ad or a few ads are, um, are not performing as well, I go back, rinse and repeat at the top, you know, that dynamic creative testing ground, and then test more creatives that way and feed it off the funnel as I go down, especially when I'm scaling. So here's a quick overview of how much we spend on Facebook ads. We spent about $86,000 that month and generated 4.28 row ads and $370,000 in return from Facebook alone. The last few things that I wanna talk about are ads and having that omni-channel presence with your Shopify store. Now the top apps that I use currently is SMS Bump, Reconvert, an upsell app, 
And then in terms of being an omni-channel presence, I am more focused on other advertising platforms such as Google Ads and also just providing value on my Facebook page and just interacting with my customers on my Facebook page and also that private VIP group that I created uh, for that particular product. So the idea is you want to be able to create value so they come back and buy from you again. And that's how you determine if you have a business or not. If people are just buying from you just once, then you can't really call it a business because once you stop advertising, then what's gonna happen? You won't be able to generate more sales and revenue from your website. So you gotta start thinking about things that will boost the average order value and also increase your lifetime value. With SMS bump, you can see that as you can see here, we spent about $56 and generated $13,000 in revenue. That's 236% ROI. So I don't know what you guys are waiting for, but if you're not with SMS bump, then you're probably losing money on the table. And then we also have a post purchase upsell. Now this post purchase upsell is called reconvert and we have a few things going on there not only um, selling more products after they purchase from you but we also ask for surveys and product comments the surveys will ask how their shopping experience is like and then the product surveys will ask why they bought the particular product and this actually will help you create your ad copies and talk to your uh, customers even better because you learn how to speak their language now look at this a crazy thing here. With reconvert our post purchase upsell, we generated about four thousand dollars, and we have about forty seven dollars average order value. That's extra four thousand dollars in your pocket. Look at the return on investment on this bad boy: two thousand three hundred percent. And then obviously you need to have an upsell app within your Shopify store at the beginning, you might not need to, but once you're making decent sales and have proven and validated the product is making sales, then you have to introduce um, complementary products or maybe quantity breaks to boost your average order value, hence making more profit. So this is from March 19 and April 19. So that's that one month where we generated about 430,000. I'm just gonna go refresh that again. And you can see here, we generated about extra $83,000 using upsell. And we found this upsell through Amazon, how you can see similar products that other people bought as well. So we just implemented the same strategy. Now in terms of the other platforms that I use for spending ads, I mainly focus on Facebook ads and Google ads as well. Since I created a branded niche stores, Google ads work tremendously well, especially if you have a highly converting website and also good theme. This will just boost your overall profit plus your presence as well. With Google ads, obviously, it's more of people looking to buy the products so it's a lot easier to make sales but at the very beginning it might be hard to optimize your google ads and i might make a separate video on how i do my google ads for my branded niche stores all right as promised we're gonna have a look at how much we actually made that month so this is from march 19 up to april 19 i did some quick calculations in here our total revenue was $432,000 and total expense cost $276,000. Fees came in about $17,300 and our net profit, we ended up with $138,000 and the net profit percentage is 32%. So definitely a good healthy margin there. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed all of those points into scaling your own highly profitable branded niche store if you guys learned something new here make sure to hit that thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed or hit that notification bell yet feel free to do so real quick if you want to know how i find winning products really quickly then i'm going to provide a link in the comment section okay it's going to be the first link there and basically it's a free ebook sharing my top five product research methods that you have never seen before. It's free, you just have to click the link, provide your email, and then I'll send it to your email. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon.